Hey, it's Mickey Campbell here. You're probably looking for, you know, how to write a successful blog. Well, there's actually five parts to it for you to actually write a successful blog. And I'm going to get right into things right now. But first, I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about me, right? Now, my name is Lincoln Campbell. Once again, you know, I've been online for about a year and a half blogging. And, you know, when I first came online, I didn't understand anything. I came fresh off a construction site. I didn't even know what a blog was. I didn't know what a lead was or anything like that. But, you know, since all these trials and tribulations, struggling online for a while, you know, I decided that, you know, I need to give back to people because there's people who are out there who are just like me who are in my situation. They're trying to find a way to, you know, maybe quit that, you know, nine to five job that's killing them, taking away from their family. So I'm out here to serve and I'm out here to, you know, teach whoever really wants to listen and learn and grow as a person and really start taking control of their future, right? So how do you write a successful blog? Well, step one, you need to start with the goal in mind, right? Like, what do you want your blog to really do? Do you want your blog to, you know, get someone to check out your social media? Do you want someone to buy something off you? Do you want to get a lead? So you got to keep that in mind before you even start writing your blog. And next up is your bridge, right? How are you going to bridge somebody into your particular action that you want them to take, right? So let's say you have somebody who is... Uh, trying to lose weight right and you present a whole situation to them on how they can lose weight but you know you want them to get this shake right so you got to think about how can you write your blog post in order for that person to want to get your shake and that's what we call a bridge and number three is you need keywords now what are keywords keywords are what people are actually typing into the search engines in order to find things right when people go to search engines they generally have an issue and they they, they want to find a solution so essentially that's what you want your blog post to be and you want to have a keyword that people uh, are looking for when they find your blog right and actually have some really cool uh, keyword research uh, videos on my channel so you can actually head over to my channel right now check out some of the videos and you can learn a little bit more about keywords and next up is um, you want to talk about what how you're writing right and you want to write to solve problems right so like I said already, right? People have problems, people have issues, they want to learn new things. And this is essentially what your blog can do. Your blog can help that person, you know, get from point A to point B. And from you getting someone from point A to point B, you're actually solving their problems. So you want to write to solve problems. And then the fifth and the most important part of your blog is your call to action, right? Like people like being told what to do, right? And if you don't tell someone what to do, the likelihood of them actually doing it is really, really slim, right? So you want to give them like a call to action that's actually doable on the spot. You don't want them to tell you don't want to tell them to go to the store and go buy these skis that you're promoting on your blog. You want to tell them, you know, click right here, right now. And, you know, get your hands on these particular skis that are going to help you, you know, increase your speed on that snow hill by, you know, 50 kilometers. <laughs> this is just a hypothetical um, yeah, response right there. But you know what I mean? Or you want to tell them, you know, click on this link right now and your email so I can send you this free training that's going to teach you how to, you know, bake a cake or something like that. Right. So you want to give them a call to action right there that's really going to get them. You know, pumped up and get them wanting to take action and actually getting them to buy sometime in the future, right? Now, you might be looking at this video and saying, you know, Lincoln, I still don't know what your hell you're talking about. I, I still don't know what to write on my blog post. Well, you know, I actually put together a free report of the five essential blog posts that you need to jumpstart your online marketing career. And what you can do right now is you can click on the link underneath this video, enter your email. I'm actually going to email those five essential blog posts right to you right now. You can take a look at them. I actually have some bonus training inside there as well that's really going to help you along the way. Now, if you don't have a blog, I'm going to give you information on how you can get a blog too, right? Now, if you have a spouse or a girlfriend who's a blogger, you're going to want to enter your email as well because at the end of the day, they could use these five blog posts. And if they're struggling right now, you know, this could be their lucky break. This could be the thing that's going to help them, you know, start getting some, um, start getting some traction in their online marketing business, right? 
So, you know, it's Lincoln Campbell here. I hope you got some value out of what I told you today. And you can actually utilize these tips within your marketing and really, really start taking advantage of this online blogging world. Because like I said already, I've been blogging for a year and a half. And, you know, I've successfully been able to quit my job and start working full time from home. So, you know, this stuff really works, right? So, you know, I just want to say, you know, I hope you got some value and, you know, have a great night and I'll catch you on the next training video.